Mr. Cenk, yep. Electron, day one. Day one, big, NAM 2018. Big surprises, right? Yeah, big surprises, big smiles, yeah. As you all know, as you would know as well, Nick, we've had a really busy year, you know, we've released the, the Mark IIs, the Octatrack Mark II, the Rhythm Mark II, Analog 4 Mark II. You know, we've really worked hard on them to get them out, upgraded them. We also had the Digitact during the Super Booth time in the spring. And, you know, that doesn't mean that we weren't working on other things. We're always working on many things. And most importantly, we are working really hard on Overbridge and the bug fixes that it will be coming out very shortly, very soon, as soon as we're happy with it right now. Ah, excellent. Yeah. So, but apart from all this, you know, what do we have? We have a new machine that is going to be Digitac's best friend. It is the Digitone. The Digitone is an eight voice polyphonic digital synthesizer. At its core, it has FM synthesis. And on this synthesis method, we've, we've used four operators and eight different algorithms. What we wanted to achieve with Digitone is to modern, modernize FM synthesis while simplifying it and streamlining it. So therefore, we worked a lot with the interface and the sound design, the, the parameters that you get with it. Because you know, everybody knows that FM synthesis can be hard to grasp yeah, because it's, it's a complex... It's very unfamiliar, isn't it? Unfamiliar, but also very rewarding if you know what you're doing. So this is what we want to put in a box. So it's a very simple box. And one thing that I really like, as I said, the, the core is FM synthesis, but I have a multi-mode filter. Actually, I have two filters. One is multi-mode here. And then I have a bass with filter as well. So you can really shape the sounds with the filter. Then you have a drive parameter. Then you have sound effects for chorus, delay, and reverb with some awesome graphics by Simon. And then we have two LFOs as well. So this is a four track machine that has an eight voice polyphonic synthesizer assigned to so, it. And you've gone for the kind of workflow of the Digitac, which everybody seems to dig. It seems to open up the Electron way a little more somehow, even though it's not a massive, I mean, the biggest but, screen helps. But right? I think you're totally right about that, because with the Digitact, we finally made a machine that was easy to understand, at the same time very deep and complex. So we applied that type of interface to a FM synthesizer to, you know, bring it to you. So guys, I'm you know. loving the candy candy store buttons, very yeah, nice. Yeah, yeah. So we got four channel, four tracks. Four tracks. And have you got MIDI tracks as well on yes, this? Yes, it's uh, yeah, four audio tracks and then four MIDI tracks on top. So it's eight tracks in total. And, you know, you have voice allocation. So maybe you can say, okay, you press the mouse, the lips button. And then you could say, okay, track number one, I want to have four voices. Track number two, I want to have one. And this is the way that you can share them. Right, so you can assign them dynamic. Yeah, but what I like doing is I like to set them as dynamic, which is D, D for dynamic. So that the, the four tracks will steal voices and use the, the voices that are not used in there. Anyway, that's enough of me talking, that was a lot. So you know, it's a polyphonic synthesizer, so you can get sounds such as this. And just like on the Analog 4, we have modulation destinations for the mod, the pitch, the breath control, aftertouch, velocity. And uh, for each of these modulation destinations, you can assign four parameters. So here I've assigned a few parameters to this sound and then we'll see it out. So there's like some feedback modulation and as well as filtering happening. And with the pitch band, I assign some delay. So that was on track number one. On track number two, I have this awesome sound. Dick uh, seven pan pipes. Yeah, it is. Bless you, sir. <laughs> And, but what I really like about this sound is that I assigned some crazy modulation to the mod wheel and... Uh, like a scaled pitch bend. 
What's happening there is actually I am changing the ratio of one of the operators I as I am that. going up. So the operators are like, you know, they got ratios and then, yeah, you can hear it. Yeah, Nate, so with Nate. the modulation destinations, you can make awesome sounds like that. What's next is, because it's an FM synthesizer, we wanted everybody to be comfortable with it. Therefore, we have a lot of, um, a lot of presets already comes with the units. For example, like this. And um, let's see here, which, where was this? And we also got a patch called Almost Pulse Width Modulation, especially for you, Nick. Oh, bless you, Jack. Because it's an FM synthesizer, we couldn't really do it, but this is as close as we got. Let's see here. Oh, sorry, I didn't choose the sound, so I press yes. Okay. You know, okay. it's a bit similar. Yeah, 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 okay. What I did, what we did with this is that we used the LFOs to have the moving around because you got two LFOs, so I can like... Okay. So that's close that's, enough for jazz. Yeah, <laughs> close enough for jazz. That's your pulse fit modulation, Nick Bat. Thank you. And, and another thing that I'd like to mention is, of course, you can get these classic FM tones. I mean, I'm not into that, and, uh, but you can get these tones. Uh, that's not a problem. But what I really like is another feature is, is that we have the arpeggiator. So you can s sequence your own arpeggiator, just like on the Analog 4, but this is a bit more improved. And I can get interesting results like because of the arpeggiator now. And then you have range. Seinfeld. Yeah. <laughs> I go left. Let's try messing around with the sound now. And so you got a subtractive filter after that as well, so you can... Yeah, so that's uh, what you have. But one thing that we haven't really looked into is the, you know, the FM parameters. We haven't looked into that yet. Um, so let's clear the track so this is the sound you get by default okay then you have your algorithm control here these are the selections you have and we have a with graphics to show you how the operators are modulating and routing we have this awesome harmonics parameter so you can apply these changes to the sine wave it's like wave folding, doesn't it? It's it is, that, yeah, yeah. It is like that, yes. So to add a bit more harmonics in there, and you know, and let's let's have a look at the the second page of the synthesis. We have two envelopes. These are like FM modulation envelopes. Easiest way to say, I guess. That's straight away the classic FM tones, you know. And if I go back here, I can see that. A is modulating the C operator. So if I change the ratio of A, I will get some interesting sounds. So it's very easy to um, come up with these interesting sounds. Yeah. And of course, we have the filter on top. So you can make such a crazy FM sound and then tame it with the dual filters. Then we have chorus and reverb and delay. I was going to say, so there are three effects in this. Yeah, right. three sound effects. Well, another thing that I really like about this, the FM design, which is kind of unique for this, each of the algorithms has got like an output of Y and X. And if you look at the graphics, you can see how they are being modulated. So this is only Y and this is X. 
So when you combine these, you get like... Yeah. So you so get yeah. So you're starting to get some really crazy stuff there. Yeah, you can get a lot of crazy stuff. The classic sounds, but what we really wanted to achieve is, as I said, the simplicity of FM synthesis with the raw power of it. You know, for the world, that's what we wanted to achieve with it. And I guess you can peel lock all of that stuff and go really crazy. Yeah. Absolutely. You have the electron sequencer for since for four synth tracks and the four MIDI tracks. So you can parameter lock all of these the algorithms. You can even trigger presets per step in the sequencer. So you can use it as a drum machine. So you can have your FM drums saved up and then you can do that. So talking about the sequencer, let's load up a, a new uh, sound here, new pattern, sorry. So here I've got like this chord going on. And as you can see, these are not triggering every time. That's because we have this awesome trick conditions method. So now, it's only like 19% chance of triggering this. And alongside, I have some different parameters assigned to it as well. Now we heard that trick. And I've got some more other pads, uh, tricks here as well. And these are chords, so if I want to see what notes are being pressed, I hold the step and then press the note button. There I can see what notes have been assigned to that step. And this is the way that I can add and remove chords in the sequencer. I really like it, how it works. Let's go to track number one, which is muted. I'll unmute it now. On this track, I'm, I've got the filter quite heavy. So if I turn it up, we will hear the actual FM sound now. And if I tame the filter, the envelope. So it's a bit like an, um, its own filter envelope. You know, it has this mm -hmm. mom, mom, mom. And you know, if you do it like with the attack, you can do have these all these settings. And you have another one here. So you have a lot of ways to modulate. And let's go to the other tracks. And then this this is the kick track here. That's an FM kick, right? Yeah. Yeah, of course it is. Yeah. So now, as I said, you can like lock different sounds. So let's see. I'm gonna put a step here and choose the mega snare. Yeah. And then, yeah, maybe lower this a bit. And then maybe add some hi-hats here. So I can copy this hi-hats and then paste it around, just like on the other machines. And maybe add some other. Yeah. Yeah, that's nice. So we can edit this a bit. This is all just the. Uh, the this the is just yeah. This, this okay. is just a tone, and I haven't muted this track, so let's unmute that now. Yeah. So you can easily get these type of grooves going on, very easily, and and um, just like on the Digitact, we have the control all mode on the Digitone. So what this means is that the four synth tracks can be controlled at the same time. So imagine you could like, you know, put filter on all the voices or open the filter or change the ratio or the algorithms. It's damn crazy. Let's check it out. So I hold the MIDI button and twist the parameters. I'm ready, I can just return to the original. Just by pressing no, function and no. Yeah. So it's a great performance tool. And before I finish, there's one more thing that I want to show. Let's put the beat on again. And I have the Digitact going into the inputs of the uh, Digitone. So let's feed that in. Yeah, but what's cool is now I can go to the master section. 
I can apply like the sound effects to the input or even go crazy with the master distortion. Oh sweet, so you've got like input processing? Yes. Does that mean we're going to get it on the Digitank pretty soon? Well, um, yeah. I mean, Maybe. hopefully we can. I, I can't say anything, you know. <laughs> but um, it would be very nice to have it. And so the Digitone is going to be overbridge compatible once we finally release it. But we're working on it. And uh, the bug fixes are coming along as well. You know, just because we release a new machine doesn't mean that we're not working on other things. I want to yeah. make that clear for the whole community. We've you know, really worked hard to get this far with this. And we want to get even further with Overbridge and the, the older machines such as the Mark II and the Digitact, which they need some kind of um, you know upgrade on the OS to fix the minor bugs. But I have to say thank you for the community that reporting the bugs to us, because without you guys, we'll never be able to make these machines as good they are. The Digitone is available now. You can go to the electron.sc to find out if we have any stock left, because I don't think we have. If not, go to your retailer and um, check them out. Excellent. How much is it going to be? How much is it going to be? It's going to be the same as Digitone. And I have to excuse myself and look at the paper. It is 779 euros, 780 euros for um, an 8 voice FM synthesizer with a sequencer with inputs, overbridge compatibility, MIDI sequencing, arpeggiator. Man, there is a lot. And this machine is the sound of my dreams. I really dig it. That's what I can say. Cenk, thank you very much. Thank you very much for coming, Nick. Thank you.